Fazi Island, just under two miles off the coast of the Sleen Peninsula. It's a half hour trip by boat to get there, and that's weather dependent. Its isolation has given it the gift of serenity, cut off from many of the distractions and pressures of modern life. There's no mains electricity, the stuff that makes everyday life work has to be ferried in, and that includes fuel for vehicles and generators. Its Welsh name is Ynys Enthry, it's the island in the currents, and it's that position that may give it the chance to move, albeit carefully and with a great deal of thought, more into the modern world. Our way of life demands vast amounts of electricity to make it work, but with climate change now a real threat, the challenge is to do that without damaging the planet. Here in North Wales, they've come up with one way of doing that by harnessing the power of the tides. And this is the technology that may well do it. A turbine which uses the natural power of tide and currents to turn its blades and generate electricity beneath the sea. The company that wants to bring this technology to North Wales, St Bardsey Sound, is the ideal location. It is a scheme still in the making and because of its location it's been done step by careful step. But it's proven technology and what's known as a tidal array already produces power for homes and businesses in the Shetland Islands. So we'll, we would start initially with one turbine which we would monitor to understand the environmental impact and how it's operating in the site and we'd gradually expand up to, to add five turbines. It's likely most of the energy will come ashore to the mainland around the Abadaran area but we're also talking to the Bardsey Island Trust who own Bardsey to just explore options about whether some of our energy from the turbines can be taken to the island. Um, to help them um, meet their own energy needs um, and their own sustainability requirements. There's no grid on Bardsey and that, that's one of the reasons it's very appealing to many people that it's sort of off grid, it's quite remote but um, I think you know the, the key thing is that, that our project can help meet the long-term sustainability needs of the island and you know there's no reason why turbines and the what makes Bardsey important from an environmental and a cultural point of view they can't they, they can be completely compatible. So at the moment it is still just a discussion but there are those who live and work on the island who believe that Maine's electricity would be a welcome development. And is a very very special place and but it, it's it's not a fossil, you know, it's a living community and, and we could have a bigger community. We, we want more of a core community here. And if we had power, then we could get that core community living here. Uh, and it re really is really, really exciting. And people have got to make a living. It's not somewhere to, it's not somewhere to escape uh, and, and, you know, turn your back on, uh, on the big world. It's part of the big world and it can be a very important part. Like I said, that simple act of getting green power on the island would mean so much. It will. We we'd be ahead, wouldn't we, of of, of the of the you know, of the world practically if we had green energy. If we had all the houses heated, you know, all the machines running around the place, all electric, we'd be ahead of the world. And she has been ahead of the world for a long time. It's lapsed behind now. It's time for it to get back into the front seat. One of the main problems here is that there's, uh, the economic engine of the island has, has faltered in the last 50 to 70 years. And one of the difficulties now is that, we haven't got, is that the mainland have, have, has got loads of power and we haven't. And it, that's kind of the situation on its head. Always in the past, the island has been the place where people have come to make a good living um, and to extend themselves. Whereas nowadays it's become a little bit more of a backwater. Um, and it's lost a bit of its character for that, I think. And there's a, a long-standing culture, a human culture on the island. And if we can get a sustainable power source, I've got hope for that, that, for that culture to survive into the future. As it is now, I'm not so sure. The Barzi Island Trust say they are in talks with the company behind the scheme, but at the moment it wasn't clear what potential there was for bringing energy to the island as well as any impacts on marine wildlife and local fishermen. They supported renewable energy and the work the company was doing to explore possibilities, but at this point couldn't offer their full backing. Ian Lang, ITV News, Ernest Entley.